put the headset right on to BYU's punter Sam Vanderhaar. Sam, a big part of today's victory, and uh, man, he gave us some uh, he gave us some fun stuff to call today. There's no doubt. Uh, Sam popping on the headset. Sam, can you hear us down there? Yes, sir. How you doing? Doing very well. Wow. Uh, I, I mentioned uh, both on social media and with the guys that this was a great three-phase win when offense, defense, and special teams all had their moments, and you were really closely involved in two of the moments in both a fake punt and a 70-yard punt. Let's go with the uh, let's go with the 70-yarder first. Mm-hmm. Sometimes it takes a little bit of magic to get 70, and, and there was a roll involved, but you have one of the most dangerous guys in the nation and Josh Cameron back there. Your thoughts on that sequence that ended up with you getting a 70-yarder? Yeah, first thing with the returner, I mean, we, we knew that he was a uh, a really dangerous returner, as you're saying. So it was kind of one of those things where the first punt was, I guess it was it was good, but it got returned for too many yards. And Pop sort of said, I need you to roll this one the other way and try and get it on the ground and we'll just see what happens. And, yeah, he called the call, which was Ralph. And, um, yeah, I guess it executed the way exactly how we you know, practice. Okay, the, what's the first thing that goes through your mind when you get the fake punt call? let's go yeah that's, for me for me i love it yeah I, I always say to pop like let's run a fake every punt like i you know I, I enjoy punting but i like winning more so um i just said that if we can if it's on like please like let me do it so um i was biting his ear off about it, trying it, to do it so is there a pre-snap recognition on that fake punt like are you looking for a certain <laughs> set or personnel or match up with your up back before you actually fake it or or do you know what direction you're going pre-snap Yes, sir. Yeah. So Batty's kind of the architect of our group. So we practice that in, um, in practice, you know, every week, that particular fake. And um, we, we're always looking for a certain look. And we got that look on that play. And but if it's if it's not there, Batty will, you know, check back to an easy and we do the normal punt. Um, but that one he called green and I was like, oh, yeah. here we go. We're on here. So I was licking my lips. And, here it goes. Um, yeah. As soon as I got the ball, I, it's kind of just muscle memory of running and you know picking gaps and all that takes over from i guess my australian background yeah i was gonna say it was kind of lazy of me but you're from melbourne australia and i said well there's the aussie rules run there uh, was were you a player was it rugby was it aussie rules what were you into back there yeah i played um australian football so like um yeah it's, it's kind of like a variation of rugby sort of but i always say to people you have to go on youtube and and give it a give it a peek. Aussie rules football, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. no, no, absolutely. Uh, and that, that's where I thought I'd kind of use that as my example today. And again, kind of lazy, but I was hoping you had played it at least because <laughs> no, you, you were rumbling out there. Uh, you know, for the folks who don't know, um, maybe give us the the brief version of your path to Provo and how you're finding life as a Cougar right now, Sam. Yes, sir. Um, yeah, first off, I was just so grateful to be here. But basically, I uh, I joined Pro Kick Australia back home, which is you know a punting program that facilitates the transition for Aussies to come over here, which. You, you guys obviously see a lot of them over here now. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I got recruited by Pitt in 2022, played there for a year. And then I sort of, you know, the season ended and I just sort of said to my wife, Hallie, that this probably isn't the place for me, um, you know, culturally and, you know, even spiritually now, which I didn't really think at the time. But mm. now that I'm involved in a, in a spiritual program, it's it's been really cool um, just to kind of buy into that and have football almost be secondary, which is kind of making it easier for me as well, um, which has been great. So that's kind of... How that all went down, I entered the transfer portal, and then Coach Papinga recruited me, and um, I sort of had to burn my red shirt that last year, and just I pretty much went to Arizona, put on 20 pounds just to get a little bit more muscle behind the ball. Um, so I had a sort of a bit of a training camp, and then I came to Provo in January. I want to go back to the punt that you, I believe you had to take the punt out of your end zone, that last punt that you booted out where Baylor got their final opportunity. But what, what's that like? What are the nerves like when you're, getting that snap back and you're either in your own end zone or you're by your end zone how much anxiety are you dealing with in that moment to be honest it's i've been very fortunate with the guys i have on punt team where they, they sort of do make it really easy for me where i trust them a lot um the particular look they gave me i knew they weren't rushing very hard so <sighs> i sort of just thought to myself to be honest it wasn't a very good punt but i did say to myself just no return yards i don't want him at all running with the ball so um i think it ended up being like 38 fair catch and i was just like yep yeah, that's that'll do like i don't wasn't trying to do too much with it. I just didn't want him getting the ball and returning for a touchdown because that would have been heartbreaking for me and the team. Well, it's your first year with the program, but you're already part of a special year because you're ranked and you're 5-0 and going into the bye week and you get your first ever Big 12 away win. A lot of things to like about today. How special does it feel to be part of this group? Oh, it's incredibly special. Yeah, I love everyone, and, you know, from the team to the trainers, the coach, you guys, everybody. It's been a, it's been a blessing to be here. Provo 
feels like def- obviously it's my home now, but it definitely feels like home, which has been really amazing for not only myself but my wife as well. So I couldn't be happier. So how big of a hug are you going to give your special teams partner Will Farron for a 54-yard boot? Oh yeah, I get around him too much. I, I'm almost annoying. Like he'll kick it, and I'm, you know, I, th- I think I hit him in the chest, and he like coughed a little bit because I was just so pumped up for him. So, um, yeah, no, I love, I love having the opportunity to go out and hold for Will. And you know, in January, to be honest with you guys, I wasn't too flash at holding, and I sort of said to Will, "Look, I want you to treat me as if I'm almost a newborn baby, and just like ch- change the way I hold it based on how you like it." And uh, that's pretty much what we went to work with for you know six months, and then. Now it's just so comfortable for us out there, and he's having a great year. Well, what a great unit you guys are. You say muscle memory, and it all comes together at the most important moment. Sam, we're so glad you're at BYU and glad you and your wife are enjoying the experience and, and this season so far for sure. Appreciate your time and safe travels and enjoy the bye week, and we'll see you back at uh, LaVelle Liberty Stadium in a couple of weeks. Go get them, Sam. Appreciate you guys. Go Cougs. 5-0. Oh, let's go. Stay aggressive. I'm all giving right. you green every time. Green every time. <laughs> let's run it. Let's do it. Uh-huh. <laughs> Thank you, Sam. That's Sam Vanderhaar.